Hello everyone, welcome to the Zhaihai Temple here on Diwa Street in Taipei, Taiwan. Happy Qi Shi Festival, Valentine's Day. It's Chinese Valentine's Day. And this is a ritual. A lot of people come down to this temple. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Tell you a little bit about Valentine's Day. Chinese Valentine's Day. It's a little bit of a different story here in Taipei. I hope the uh, signal is okay here. Hope there's not too much of a lag. Thanks for watching. John Sabo here, Far East Adventure Travel. And welcome to Taiwan. So there is a matchmaker god inside this temple that people come to all year round. Costa Rica, nice. Yeah, let me know where you're watching from so I can say hi to you. It's a very special day here in uh, East Asia, in China, in Taiwan. Anywhere where there's a population of uh, people of Chinese heritage, they celebrate this special day. I'll tell you a little about this special day. This is about true love, this day here. And it's about a couple that were united and then they were split apart by the woman's mother, only to be reunited again in heaven. So the story goes as this goddess came to earth, she fell in love with a cow herder they got married, they had two kids, the mother did not approve of it, the mother recalled the goddess back to heaven. You're from Brazil, oh cool, <clears throat> excuse me. So um, the cow herder had a, a, a cow that confessed to him that he was once a god and when he died, if he made leather shoes out of his hide, the man could fly to heaven and be reunited with his wife. So when the cow died, he did but the mother did not approve and she created the Milky Way to separate the two lovers. So when the magpies found out about this, they felt so bad, they built a bridge. Hello, my friend. They built a bridge for the couple to reunite. Finally, the mother-in-law relented and she allowed them to get together once a year, to be reunited once a year, crossing the bridge of the Milky Way and it's on this day. That is the story of the Qi Shi Festival here. In, uh, in China and in Taiwan. This is Taiwan, and they celebrate this here today. And it's become commercial, so there's lots of, of course, restaurant promotions and everything else. And uh, it's, um, it's a very special day. I've seen lots of couples already walking around. It's, uh, it's almost 12 noon here, and a lot of couples are very sweet couples walking around. The lady has a rose, it's very nice. And a lot of these people that have come down here are praying today to the matchmaker god so they can find girlfriend or boyfriend or future husband or wife. Now I have a friend here and his cousin came here one year and she prayed to this God and that same year she found her current husband. So it does work. It's better than apps. It's better than dating apps. It's way more powerful. So let's uh, take a walk in. So there's lots of uh, young people here. We'll see a lot of young people uh, praying today. So a lot of people maybe that are single will come down to this temple. So I'm going to walk softly and quietly as, as much as I can through here and show you guys around. This is on uh, the very commercial D Wall Street. Hang on a sec here. So let me just fix something. Thank you. And uh, let's go inside and uh, check this out. This is in all of the tourist books. So people year round will come here and of course come and pray to this God. But today is a very special day because it's this Chinese Valentine's Festival. So there's lots of... Uh, Young ladies and young men here praying, of course. So let's have a, a walk inside. It's a very hot day here in Taipei. And thanks for joining me. Let me know where you're watching from. Sending love to you wherever you are in the world. I hope you find your love. You gotta love yourself first though. Just remember that. This is Taiwan, yes, this is Taiwan, Taipei. And this is inside, look at how, this is busy day because it's Qi Shi. It's Chinese Valentine's Day. So lots of young people have come here to pray to this God. And I want to get up close. There's the God right there. That is the God that they're praying to, the love God, the matchmaker God. This is the city God temple here. And yes, it is a commercial day. There's lots of promotions going on. There was fireworks last night at the Love Bridge here in, uh, in well, in New Taipei City, in Danshui. A lot of people 
went out and saw that. Isn't it nice? Thank you for watching. Let me know where you're watching from. Thanks for watching the replay and sharing the broadcast out and subscribing to the channel as well. That's always a good thing. Welcoming all my subscribers from around the world. Watching today live. Uh, li I like to do lots of live streams. I do produce videos for my channel, but I do like to do lots of live streams as well. I do a lot of live streaming uh, from around Asia. I was just in Bangkok. If you missed some of those broadcasts, you can check those out. Right now we're here in Taipei, and this is the very famous Jai Hai Temple, the temple of the matchmaking god. There's lots of gods here. It's not just a matchmaking god temple. This temple is very small, but it has probably the highest concentration of deities, of gods, out of any temple in all of Taipei. There's so many here. Look at them all. And there's other rooms. I'm going to take it into other rooms as well. But there is the famous god, this one right here that everybody can see. Maybe they'll let me get up a little bit close. And then you can pray as well if you're looking for a future husband or wife. This will give you a chance to think about that. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I see the little the little heart here. I think that's for the tourists so that they know that that's the god that they should focus on. I think most local people know that this is the god, the proper god. If you want to, if you want to. Um, so there you go, you can get there right up close, right up close to that God. So you can pray now for your future husband or wife. Oh, so, so yeah. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Kli Kliang. Somebody's got an explanation on how to exactly pray properly here. So we want to get this right. The goal is not to come back here every Shishi festival, I, I assume. Okay, let's go into the next room here. You see all of the gods. There's, there's so many gods in this little... This is just a tiny little temple. And this is on uh, Diwa Street. This is a very uh, a famous old street, one of the oldest streets in Taipei. Commercial street, many shops. Uh, once tea, lots of tea importers or exporters here. There still still are some here, but it was one of the most important commercial districts in the 19th century here in Taipei. It's one of the minders here in the temple. Let's have a walk out. They usually serve like free soup or tea here as well, which is quite nice. All of the offerings is beautiful orchids. These are all probably grown in Taiwan. Taiwan's very famous orchid growing place. Yes, they have some free drinks here. Very special romantic day in, uh, in Taiwan. So the next time you're in Taiwan, you can come down to Diwa Street. And this is actually a very cool place. 
lots of heritage buildings here that have been renovated and now there are lots of upscale stores but still uh, many traditional stores that sell traditional Chinese medicine, um, uh, traditional Chinese foods, bird's nest food, abalone, all kinds of special Taiwanese snacks and treats and there's cafes here and we'll take a little quick walk around as well. Maybe we'll, I'll walk you down before we, uh, before we go back. I'll just give you a little sneak peek. I've, I've broadcasted from here before. I've created videos on YouTube. I think you can probably go back and see I was here before Chinese New Year. And uh, there's a video that you can find uh, in the Taiwan playlist uh, of uh, how crazy it is here before Chinese New Year. But this is what it looks like normally. And it's uh, almost 12 noon on uh, Chinese Valentine's Day here in Taipei. So thanks, I hope in Taiwan, if you, I hope you get today to spend a very special day with your loved one, and if not, don't worry, you'll find your, your special person one day, don't worry. It's just important to love yourself first. And that person will come at the right time, and it'll be the right person. This is just a little quick look at uh, the rest of Diwa Street here. Now let's go back to the temple. So thanks so much for watching and sharing uh, the video out as well. And a lot of people will uh, as well A lot of people release lanterns on this day, either the sky lanterns that are very famous in northern Taiwan in, in the towns of Pingxi and Shifin, uh, which is some of the only places where you can are allowed to release the sky lanterns. And people will often release the sky lanterns on this day uh, and, and pray, uh, wish for a boyfriend or girlfriend or future husband or wife. And uh, they'll also release uh, lanterns uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in the water as well, in the rivers here in the ocean, uh, in Jilong. Every year they have a lantern release in the river up there at the port. And uh, lots of people come out. And people that are married and have families and stuff will still release the lanterns out. It's still a good thing to do on this very special romantic day. If you missed the story about uh, Qi Xi Festival, um, you can watch the beginning of this broadcast and I talk about it there. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys again soon.